It's Katie Farner, director for the Sunshine State Superstars. I recently asked you guys what you wanted to see a new video on, and dramatically so, the response was an updated video on basket parties. So that is what I'm going to share with y'all today. I'm going to share what um, I am doing with my basket parties currently. I'm actually going to make this a two-part video. Part one is going to be why basket parties, why it's important to have a mini tester or basket party um, set as part of your business, and um, also how I actually prepare the basket to give to my host. And then the second part of this basket party training series is going to be um, how to actually coach your basket party hostess and how to utilize those new contacts that you've gained um, for future bookings and potential recruits. So first let's talk about why basket parties are beneficial. Um, each basket party is basically, I look, like to look at it like a little employee. Every basket party that you have out there is working hard to get you sales and to get you new contacts. So the more basket parties you have, the more beneficial it can be. I have five um, basket party sets and um, all of them are out right now except for one. And at this stage in my business, it is definitely beneficial to have five. I don't think that everybody needs five. It depends on how steadily you're seeing your mini tester sets um, going out. And if you feel the need for more than one, purchase one. But I would never say buy a bunch and just have them sit there. You only want to purchase multiples if you really need multiples. Um, I have, you'll find that you'll have people who want to host just basket parties. So of course you're going to want the basket party available for them. But you're also going to have home party hosts who maybe are inviting different groups um, or different cliques from their life to their home party. So they might like to have the basket party the week leading up to their home party to collect orders from people who they might not um, in, want to invite to their home party. Um, also, just to catch people who can't make it. So having a basket tester set is very beneficial, not only just for people who want to host basket parties, but also for people who are doing home parties to have that extra um, available to collect outside orders. Not to mention you can mail a mini tester set anywhere in the country. Uh, you'd want to freeze your testers the night before you mail them so they're nice and frozen. Throw in an ice pack as well if it's the summertime, just so you don't get melted testers. Um, when they don't get melted testers when they arrive and you don't get melted testers back, you ask her to do the same thing. So I'm going to show you now what um, my mini tester sets look like. So I use the thermal tester totes from the Cincy Family Store. They're really cute. They're a nice convenient um, size. And I like how they have a place in the back for you to put your business card. They also have a place in the back to put the... Um, scent of the month flyers or warmer of the month flyers. And inside they are thermal, which I really like. Not that it really makes any difference in Florida. It's still way too hot. Um, so inside the mini tester set is where I will have the testers. And I've used the category pouches from the Scentsy Family Store. I like them. I just feel like they're, um, keep things nice and organized and professional looking. You know, if you give your customers the mini tester set just as it comes from the Scentsy Family Store, all of them together just in a wad inside that tiny little plastic case, um, it can just be a big hot mess and you can easily end up with testers lost. So even if you can't necessarily afford at this stage in your business to purchase this and these, just use the use the container that they came in and put your testers in Ziploc bags based on their category, just so you can help keep them nice and organized. In my mini tester set um, with my basket party, you'll notice I call it different things. I don't know. Sometimes I say mini tester set. Sometimes I say basket. So I mean the same thing. Um, so I will always include a bar so they can see exactly what a bar looks like. Now, if you're enrolled in Scent and Warmer of the Month Club, then you know that you get 10 of the Scentsy Bars. You only get one mini tester um, set tester for the Scent of the Month. So since I have five mini tester sets, instead of each month buying five or buying four additional mini testers, I just put a bar in the basket of the Scent of the Month. 
I always want to put a bar in there anyway so they can see what one looks like. So why not put the scent of the month in there? So this is the uh, October scent of the month for 2014. Very peachy, very peri pumpkin, I mean. So I always put one of these in there. I also always include a room spray and I let my basket party host know that she can spray that room spray if she would like. I also include a demo warmer if, if they can use one. Some people can't have one in their workplace, whether they're a nurse or work at a doctor's office. So you always ask if they can, in fact, even use a warmer and if they can, absolutely give them a loaner warmer and let them use the scent of the month or whatever you want to do because you know as well as i do once people experience scentsy it's gonna make them buy it i always say if they can smell it you can sell it so let's talk about the materials that i have in a basket tester set so i only include two catalogs if my host insists that she wants more than two catalogs i will maybe give her a third um, if she does want more than three catalogs, I will give her two more showcase brochures, but I never give more than three catalogs. It would be a very rare experience that I, a very, a very rare situation where I would do that. Um, catalogs, catalogs are like gold. They're not like Tic Tacs that I want to just give away like candy. Um, these are important. And if my basket party host thinks that every single customer who's considering selling needs to take one of these home and be able to rifle through it and mark down in it, Sorry, I don't think so. They can go to my website. So two catalogs. And honestly, I never have a problem. And usually I get both catalogs back. Um, so I really haven't had a problem. But if she does want more, I'll give her one additional catalog. And then if she says, oh, I really would like more than that, I'll give her a couple showcase brochures. And that's that. Gotta make sure that you save your catalogs for people who really uh, deserve them, not those who demand them. Catalogs are more expensive. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm cheap. I hope I don't sound like I'm cheap, but I just feel like if you, you got to be smart on how you spend your money. I'd rather spend my money on giving nice, generous host gifts and nice gifts at, for prizes at parties than be giving out tons of catalogs every month. That's just not wise spending in my opinion. So, um, you'll also find that in my basket tester sets, I give any um, special flyers. So currently we have the Harvest Collection and the Holiday Collection available for 2014. So I include one of each of those flyers, labeled of course. I also include two flyers of the scent and warmer of the month. And I include, of course, order forms. A good stack of those because you never want to have to have your host say oh wait I need more order forms that's never fun so I also include something that I call my basket Bible and up until this point I have only used these as prizes for different incentives I have never made this file available to you my team members um, but I was just in contact today with my um, printer who helped me design this and we are going to um, make some changes to update it for this new catalog season. And once that is done, I will be sharing it with my team members only on my team Facebook page. So if you are part of the Sunshine State Superstars, once we have edited and updated this, the Basket Bible is gonna be available to any of you guys um, on the team to print and use this resource. Um, so I was saving it for a while and doing incentives with it, but I thought it's been a year or so I can open it up to everybody. So this is what I call my basket Bible. Um, the template and the idea I found um, online and I tweaked it um, to make it um, my style. So welcome on the outside with just letting her know I've got some helpful information in here. And then inside here is how to party and there's different tips on where to take the mini tester set um, and who to think of for placing orders and also there's a reminder here at the bottom don't leave it in your car we live in Florida it's really hot um, and then here is the host show specials so they can see how all of the hostess rewards work 
the special um, packages that they can get with half priced items that include warmers. Um, and you can see I gotta do some updating on page numbers because right now they're just whited out and I've changed them. With every catalog change, you can count on a lot of these page numbers changing. So on the other side is a little scavenger hunt that I do for my basket party hosts um, where they can get more free stuff. So turn your party and all supplies in on time, five points. Party total of 400 plus in PRV, 10 points. Each order form is 100% completely filled out, 15 points. Gather three bookings from friends or family, 20 points. Ask me about joining the Sensi family, 10 points. Join my team, 50 points. And then they get to redeem their points. Uh, 15 points, you get a free bar of the scent of the month. 60 points, you will receive 20 additional dollars in product credit. And 110 points, you can select a warmer and three bars of your choice. So obviously they're only gonna get 110 points if they're joining. They're really only gonna get 60 points if they uh, have literally done everything on here. Ask me about joining the Cincy family, gather three bookings, all those things. That's the only way they're going to get 60 points. And the only way they're going to get 110 is if they've done everything and joined my team. So it's only for hosts. So the next page, I have payments and order taking. There's a sample order form here for them to um, access. And at the top, it says where to write checks made out to, Katie Farner, 7% sales tax, all that stuff. Then there's um, some quick information about some of our other products like Layers by Scentsy. There is also Scents on the Go and Scentsy Buddies. That's one of the things that has to be changed. <laughs> we don't offer that one anymore. Um, spend $50, get a mini spatula. And last but not least, Share the Fun, which talks about passing on the basket. And Opportunity is Knocking, which talks about the business opportunity at the bottom, you can see Grace Adele is still there. I had to just draw a line through it. Um, it talks about the Sensi and Velada starter kit costs. And over here, it shows our compensation plan. And again, Grace Adele is gone, so I need to update that. Um, but that is my basket Bible. Just a quick walk through. So really soon, this is going to be available to the team members to be able to, um, like I printed this through a printer. So it's nice and um it's nice paper and it's nicely bound. It's really nice. So if you work with a local printer, you'll be able to print that off and have a nice copy just like I do. So that is how I prepare my mini tester or basket tester set to give to my host and also why having basket part having basket parties available is so beneficial for your business. They're like little employees that go out and make money for you. So watch my part two video where you're going to learn how to coach your host step-by-step step, what you need to teach her and how to utilize these new contacts that you're going to get from this basket party to turn them into future hosts, long-term customers, and even potential recruits. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my latest videos to help you rock your Sensi family business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.